This is the engine compartment of a stock Dakota. This is what my engine compartment looked like after my solid axle swap. There's an AC hard line that runs from here back to here. Now I have coilovers there, so that won't work anymore. Here is how I solved that problem. So this is the hard line I'm talking about, and this is my coilover that wants to be there. Now make sure that there's no refrigerant in the system when you start opening up the lines because it is illegal to just crack open the lines and release that refrigerant into the atmosphere. Just saying. So my first thought to solving this problem is to buy a universal AC line, which has the correct fittings on this side, but not on this side. That might not be a problem though. I can weld aluminum. So I cut off a couple pieces of the stock line just to see how it welded, and it did not go well. After fighting it for a while, I decided that the alloy they use is just not weldable, or at least not weldable by me. So my next thought was, maybe we can get an adapter. And upon Googling adapter fittings for AC lines, I found this. Turns out you can go to coldhose.com and they can build you a whole new AC line. Now this is a soft line, but for my application that actually works better than a hard line anyway. Now, as you can see here, you pick your hose size and length. They have hundreds of fittings to choose from. You can add splicers into the line for different fittings and ports that you might need. And then you can pick the fitting on the other end, which again, there's hundreds, I think. And you get to pick the clocking of everything so that everything is aligned the way you need it to be aligned in your build. And I figured this was going to be pretty pricey when I was looking at the website, but it literally costs less than that hard line I bought. Now, this is not sponsored. It just was such a huge problem solver for a build like this that it was worth taking the time to specifically mention. And I'm sure there's other companies that do the same service. This is just the one I used and they worked great. So I placed my order, waited a week or two, and my problem was solved. Should not have been that hard. So it's been a while since I've worked on this air conditioning system. So I got a new compressor, new condenser, new everything basically. And, um, as part of my kind of service kit, came with one of these guys, which is an orifice tube, an important part of your AC system. And that made me realize that the orifice tube was inside of the hard line that this connected to that I threw away. So I thought I had completely screwed myself. Turns out you can get these orifice tube repair kits. This will just have to basically replace this little section of hard line. Let's see how much we need to actually remove of this section. Our overall length is 3780 minus 505 and 525. 3780, so 2780, 2750. Oh, look at that. I wonder if they did that on purpose. I need to take two and three quarters of an inch out of this tube, exactly. So you can see there's some numbers stamped in right here and right here, which depressed the tube in those areas. So I'm going to cut that piece out because that will not let my O-rings seat properly. Cut right there and a cut right there. In case you're wondering, that's a tattoo from my daughter on my hand over here. It's very cute. It was a rainbow roller skate. So this end eventually leads to the accumulator. This end is at the condenser. And so which way does that orifice tube go? I know it's directional. I just can't remember if it's that way or that way. Hold on, let me Google it. 
Okay, white part towards the firewall. White wall. White walls. Just to keep from damaging the o-ring, I'm going to put the o-ring on first and then just kind of roll it into place and then let this stuff all kind of squeeze it together. Tighten that up once I get it all assembled. But same deal on this side. Got our nut first. Fural. And our O ring. Okay, that goes through there. I'd like to see that O ring actually seat in there. There we go. Okay. There, now that o ring's definitely seated. And I'm just going to tighten this down and hope that it stays seated. There we go. Tighten this all up, but now we have a uh, orifice tube in there again. So we're headed to this fitting right here. Just threw some tape on it so no creepy crawlies found their way in there. All this thing was open last night. Okay, now feed this guy back through here. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing here. There we go. Alright, can't see this stuff camera, but I'm just going to put the other side into the condenser here. In over here. Okay, we're in. Time to go get this thing charged up and hopefully it blows cold. All right, well, it's a pretty cold day outside, but still, we got air blowing down into the 40 degree range, so I'm gonna call that a success. Now, on to the next project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.